Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodwin, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our right. show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, Toyo 2, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Iowa Wild, and the Atlanta Gladiators took on the Savannah Ghost Pirates. The, we also have for you in our show is in the system, so stick around. It's going to be a fun time. So, um, like I said, the Admirals took on the Wild. That is where we will start. And... All right. So, shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots Iowa 13-12. to In the second period, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 15-11. to In the third period, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 13-9. And in total, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 40 to 33. On the power play, Milwaukee goes two for four with 12 minutes, six infractions, while Iowa goes 0 for six with eight minutes, four infractions. <clears throat> Scoring in the first period was nothing. In the second period at the 11.51 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Dennis Garyanov. His seventh of the year on the power play, assisted by Fedor Svechkov, his sixth, and Jordan Gross, his third. Then at the 13-17 mark, the Admirals get on the board again with a goal from Mark Jankowski, another power play goal, assisted by Joachim Kemmel, his sixth, and Jordan Gross, his fourth. In the third period at the 7-10 mark, Jake Lucchini scores for the Iowa Wild with his ninth with an assist from Adam Beckman, his eighth and Simon Johansson, his second. Then at the 9.56 mark, Andy Walensky gets his fourth. The game stayed tied for a while till Igor Afanasia buries his ninth of the season at the 16.08 mark with an assist from Zachary LaRue, his eighth, and Jake Livingstone, his seventh. Oh. Then at the 19.40 mark, um, Jasper Weatherby scores his second with an assist from Igor Afanasia. That was an empty net shorthanded goal. We hit them all. Even strength, empty net, shorthanded power play. Yeah. Um, in the after the second period, uh um uh Troy Grosnick left the game after looking a little gingerly after the Beckman shootout. Or penalty shot. The back of penalty shot. Yeah. When he came off that post, he, came, he seemed a little gingerly on that. And then after getting knocked down at the end there, I, it just wouldn't surprise me. They were beating him up pretty good. And with them playing again tomorrow, I'm not surprised that they just let him sit. Um... In net for the Iowa Wild was Zane McIntyre. He stopped 29 to 32 with three goals against in 57 minutes, 17 seconds worth of work. In 40 minutes of work for Troy Grosvick, stopped 27 of 27. In 20 minutes of work, uh, Yaroslav Askarov stopped 11 of, tw of 13, coming in as the cold goaltender into the third period. So this game was already ramped up and raring when he came in so um uh, like we all like if you really look at it they we held the wild 0 for 6 on the power play yeah wild, um seemed to keep chasing and keep chasing and keep chasing but um the wild uh this snaps the wild th wilds three game winning streak Uh, oddly enough, the Wild now have a losing home record. The Wild also have a 17.6 uh, 17.65 percent on the power play at home, while 21.5 on the road. So their power play is better on the road. Where the Admirals are at eighteen seven five on the road and thirteen six at home. Um, the Admirals have a seventy three percent penalty kill at home, while the they have an eighty two percent that will have dropped after today. 
Um, your three stars of the game. Third star of the game was Jake Lucini with a goal. Uh, second star was Troy Grostick with 27 saves on uh, 27 shots in 40 minutes of work before being injured, um, as well as a uh, penalty shot save mm -hmm. as well. Um, Igor Afanasyev with the first star with a goal and an assist. Uh, I, it, it's pronounced Igor Afanasyev. Not whatever the heck Iowa's people said. All right. Afanasyev. That's what they said. Afanasyev. All righty. So the Admiral's back in the win column. Uh, the, we, we said the, uh, yesterday that this weekend was going to be a character check for this young team. Um, the Admirals did get some reinforcements today, and so did um, Atlanta. I think Atlanta's going to end up getting more shortly, but we'll see what happens. Um, but at the current moment, um, last I knew, the only reinforcement they got today was Prokop. Um, let me double check and make sure that's right. Yes, it, yeah, he played tonight. Yes, he did. Um, Matir is down there. I wouldn't be surprised to see Gasevich go back. <coughs> um, and with Liam Foudy here, I, I, I just wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of that. Uh, currently, the Moose are losing to Calgary 4-2. But let's turn over to the Atlanta Gladiators, who are currently on a nine-game skid. All right, so the Atlanta Gladiators took on the Savannah Ghost Pirates today. Shots on goal in the first period, Atlanta outshoots Savannah 15-10. to 10. In the second period, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 11-8. In the third period, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 10-5. to 5. And in total, Savannah outshoots Atlanta 31 to 28. Scoring in the first period at the 356 mark for Savannah was Sebastian Vidmar, assisted by Anthony Collins and Peter Tisch. Then at the 1440 mark for Atlanta, they scored with a goal from Cody Sylvester, assisted by Luke Prokop and Micah Miller. All right, in the second period, uh, Matthew Bowden scores with an assist from Sebastian Vidmar and Joe Fleming. Um, then Brett Peters Pedersen, I believe that's a former the former Admiral Brett Pedersen. Um, he was here for like a cup of coffee um, when we had all them injuries that one year and then all the call-ups and yeah. Um, no, with an assist from Nolan Value and Pat Gee. Um, then Tanner Visatio scores uh, at the 16.05 mark with an assist from Vincent Marlowe and Brett Pedersen. Then in the third, Cody Sylvester scores with an assist from Luke Prokop and Micah Miller. Um, then at the 15.49 mark, Pat, Pat Gee scores assisted by Nolan Value and Carter Long. I apologize there, folks. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh. In that for the Atlanta Gladiators was Gustav Gregel stopping 26 of, 12, of 31. Well, Boolean was in net for Savannah, stopping 26 of 28. Uh, it looks like uh, Sylvester's goal was on the... Okay, Atlanta went two for five on the power play, while Savannah went two for five on the power play. Just okay. to... Added statistics for you. Attendance at the N Market Arena in Savannah was 6,795. All righty. Uh, that puts Atlanta in a, uh, they were not on a nine game skid, but in their last 10, they are one and nine. 
Yeah, this has not been going good for them at all. All right. Um, they need to get it together. All righty, so let's talk about our in the system. In the system is where we cover everybody not playing pro hockey. These are the guys that are assigned to either college or juniors, or they're still playing overseas, um, getting prepared to play in our league or play pro hockey in the end. Um, starting off is Graham Sward. He's played 28 games, six goals, 34 assists for 40 points with a 1.43 points per game. He has 16 penalty minutes and is a plus 34. Uh, so for every assist he has, the six goals he has, um, uh, those though you can wipe those out, but you know the thirty-four assists out there. <laughs> uh -huh. That means the puck's still going in the net. Uh, then we have Austin Roast, the last guy ever drafted by David Poyle, uh, plays for the Everett Silver Tips of the Western Hockey League. By the way, Grab Sword plays in the Winchetney Wild. Um, but Austin Rose to the Everett Silver Tips. He has 28 games played, 19 goals, 13 assists, 32 points, and a plus nine with a 1.14 points per game. He has 20 penalty minutes. Tanner Mullen, Dyke to Nashville Parish, one of the Nashville Parish first round picks this year, plays for the Saskatoon Blades of the Western Hockey League. He has 23 games played, four goals, 23 assists, 27 points, with a plus 20 and a 1.17 points per game. Aiden Fink of the Penn State University. Um, me and I had brought him to John's attention quite recently. Yeah. Um, just because he was named uh, the Big Ten Player of the Week. Um, this last or the NCAA Player of the Week this last week with I think it was like five goals, four assists, or something like that. It was pretty nuts. Anyway, in 17 games, he has nine goals, 13 assists, 22 points, and a plus 10. Uh, then we got Joseph Willis uh, for the Saginaw Spirit. He has 26 games played, 4 goals, 17 assists, 21 points with a plus 12. Uh, Felix Nelson or Nielsen, uh, he plays for Rogo BK and Rogo BK J20. He just scored yesterday his first game in the S Swedish Hockey League, the Adult League, uh, scored his first goal yesterday. So congratulations. Um, he has one goal, one assist in that league. Um, Rogel, he has five goals, 12 assists with a plus 19. Um, Ryan Ufko for UMass in the NCAA. 15 games played, five goals, nine assists, 14 points. Uh, Alexander Campbell of North, Northeastern University. 13 games played, six goals, seven assists, 13 points. That's a good enough for a point per game. Kayla Lind of the Red Deer Rebels plays for the Western Hockey League. Uh, 15 games played, three goals, 10 assists for a minus six, but the Red Deer, Red Deer Rebels are not doing so well this year in the Western Hockey League. Uh, what was that? Oh, nothing. I had to clear my throat. Sorry. Oh, okay. You might pick it up after this one. Um, I don't have it up. Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, Adam Ingram uh, for St. Cloud University at um, – actually, I should do it this way. Matthew Wood at University of Connecticut, 17 games, played seven goals, five assists, 12 points. He has no plus minus, and he's under a point per game. He has 10 penalty minutes. Adam Ingram, St. Cloud University, he has three goals, nine assists, 12 points, and he's a plus two. Uh, Simeon Chishikov of Omar Munster. In the KHL, 30 games played, two goals, nine assists for a plus five. Sutter Mizuti um, for uh, Wrestliner Polytech Institute. A Wrestliner Polytech Institute. He has 12 games played, four goals, five assists for nine points with a minus seven with 54 penalty minutes. I'm going to check into him momentarily while we get into Gunnar Wolf Fontaine. Uh, 13 games played, two goals, seven assists, nine points. Um, then we have Simon Daka, Hockey Club Davos. He has one goal, six assists in 20 games there with a plus five. 
Uh, Chase McClay with Penn State. He has 17 games played, three goals, three assists, six points, minus 11. Um, Luke Reed of University of New Hampshire, 12 games played, one goal, five assists, five for six points plus five. Uh, Dylan McKinnon for the Halifax Mooseheads. He has uh, 29 games played, six assists with a plus three. Um, Jack Matier with the Atlanta Gladiators. I know normally that that's just, you know, we don't talk about the uh, pro players, but Atlanta or the ECHL, we will. Um, in his time with the ECHL, he has 16 games played with three goals, two assists, five points, and a minus two. Um, Luke Prokop with the Atlanta Gladiators has nine games played, two goals, three assists, plus seven. Uh, Jesse Keeskinen has one goal and four assists for the for the Pelicans in Liga. Um, he is also a minus one. Ben Stride the University of North Dakota, 15 games played, one, three goals, one assist, four points for plus two. And Todd Olison, defenseman, he plays for Skolaftia, uh, AIK, and now will be playing for Jokerit. Jokerit, seven games played, two goals, one assist, three points plus one. Um, Cole O'Hara of UMass, he has uh, 14 games played, one goal, three assists, plus two. Um, Isaac Walther, he has six games played, two goals, one assist, plus five. Uh, Vlaslav Yermenko, he has eight games played with one assist and a plus three. Um, Kasper Kulanumi with Tapera and Liga, he has one assist and 24 games played. Nolan Burke has one game played with the Atlanta Gladiators. No stats. Liam Foudy assigned to the Admirals today. In net, the pipeline. The pipeline. Oh, God. Volkov, you should have never went back to the K. And leading the way is Ethan Hader, who has been very good at the University of Connecticut this year. With 12 games played, 2.36 goals against average, with a .915 save percentage. Um, after that is Yuha Gatkola, with 16 games played with a 3.01 goals against average, with a .861 save percentage. Um, the other two goalies in the system are Yaroslav Askarov and Joy Grosnik, uh, both with 10 games played. Uh, Askarov with the better goals against average, with a .2 for one save percent or goals against average and a 0 0.906 save percentage, while Troy Grostick has a 2.72 2 goals against average and a 0 0.904 save percentage. Um, less than 10 games played, Konstantin Volkov, he's played nine games in the KHL with a 3.73 goals against average and a 0.886 save percentage. That is just god awful. Yuha Gatkola um, is understanding he plays on Cal Paul, which is one of the teams. If if they had regulation where if a team was bad and they finished the last place and kicked them out every year, that's how that would go. All right, so your update on Suter Mazzotti. Um, he is 6'5", 209. Um, he is a uh, tough guy, if you will. Known for his physical ability. Um, this is his second year in um, uh, college. So we'll see what happens there. He was drafted by the National Predators this last year. Um, and Calpa has... Former Everblade uh, Colby Sissons. But that is it for today's show. <sighs> Next time I'll bring my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. We got to be better coordinated next time. <laughs> yeah, we're still working on some of the bugs and <clears throat> we've been very tired. Um, hope you all enjoy our new graphics that are up on our page. And just note that the Admiral's next home game is 
Hockey Fights Cancer Night. So we'll be turning to our page purple again for one day. <laughs> um, as uh, December 20th, you can still get plenty of Admirals tickets for that game. Uh, what else we got upcoming here, John? We got a triple tomorrow. And then we got a single game on Sunday, I think. I believe so. All righty. Um, looking at everything else, um, why is it making me read things in Finnish? Uh -huh. mm hmm. All right, so upcoming. But, yep, that's all we got for you today. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry for the dead air. <laughs> I was making sure that there were no other things and that the rumor I read was not true. But, alrighty. And it's not so much I'll get into it. <laughs> alrighty. See you guys tomorrow. From what you get from us, you will never know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs>